Hey pretty girls, this is Tay and welcome to another video. So you clicked on this video because chances are you are a small business owner just like me getting ready for Black Friday. Now, this year's Black Friday is going to be totally different guys. Like when I tell y'all I am so nervous for Black Friday this year, like I am nervous simply because this this year has been a very trying year for a lot of small businesses. Thankfully, my, my business is on track for another six figures. I am so thankful and grateful for you all who support me, my customers who are watching this that support me as well. But I know that's not the case for every small business. So I want to get on here and share some of my Black Friday tips and tricks that I've done in the last year's Black Friday and things I want to be doing this Black Friday to ensure that I am getting as much and as many sales as possible for Black Friday of 2022. So we're going to get started with the video right so now. So first thing I want to tell you all, um, I have made a list. I made a quick little list of some of the things that I want to be doing for Black Friday and I think that you should be doing as well as a small business. So the first thing I put is start November 1st. So you might be saying, Tay, Pretty Girl Bangles, what does that mean? So when I say start November 1st, I mean literally on November 1st, you should make a post, whether it's a real, a regular post, whatever you're going to do on Instagram, your TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, whatever you use the most, you should make a post that says, welcome to November, um, it's Black Friday month, who's excited for Black Friday, are you gearing up, things like that. So. It not have to be like a salesy post. It could just really be a post of like your items that you regularly sell or your inventory and in the caption, it can literally just talk about Black Friday. So you want to kind of, you know, throw it in there. So you want to mention Black Friday somewhere, somehow on November 1st in your November 1st post. Just make sure you are starting talking about Black Friday, putting those buzzwords to your audience, literally starting November 1st. Another thing that I did last year and the year before is I created like a catalog slash toy book. So I don't know about you, but I was born in the 90s and when we was growing up, we used to look forward to the Toys R Us toy book. My mom used to tell us to circle everything in the toy book that we wanted, put our name by it. So I had like a little brother. So we would circle it and put Taylor, circle it and put my brother's name, whatever it is. Or if we both want that, we would circle it and put both <laughs> y'all. But I say I like to say that the toy book was just amazing to us. So create a toy book for your business. So for example, um, you can use platforms like Canva. You can even just use the regular Instagram um, platform, um, Fonto, whatever picture editing app or anything like that. I say Canva. You can literally make a toy book. So I know it's going to be hard for some businesses because some businesses you might not know exactly what you're going to be offering right up front. But I say at least by November 15th, which is about two weeks into Black, or two weeks into November, you should be having a toy book and an idea of what you're going to sell. So for example, for me last year or two years ago, I did the toy book. I did the pretty girl toy book, whatever it was called. I can't remember. And I just like, you know, um, one slide said 100 different bangles or 100 basic bangles or whatever it was. The next slide was like purses because I offer purses. It was like purses and they list the colors. I have, I, I have pink purses, black purses, and red purses. Then the next slide was like lash kits. That's the year I did lashes. And I just had lash kit and I had what was included, a pair of lashes, a glue, and a spoolie. The next slide I had um, socks. I sold socks. Yes, socks. And then I just had pink socks, green socks, orange socks, whatever socks. And the next slide, it was like AirPod cases and stuff like that. So I hope y'all are getting the picture. So it was literally just giving my customers an idea of what I was going to have for Black Friday. So that way they can know, hey, I'm going to go to Pretty Girl Bangles to get some socks this year. I'm going to go on so-and-so to get some lip gloss. I'm going to go to so-and-so to get the, you know, lashes or whatever. Now for me, I always like to offer things I don't offer all year round on top of my, my on top of my regular items. So of course I'm gonna have bangles. That's gonna just be obvious. Of course I'm gonna have bangles for Black Friday, of course. But then I like to include some little little knickknacks that I don't really sell on a regular basis. Like last year I did the lash kits. This year I'm gonna be doing something different. I won't really announce it until it's Black Friday time. But if you're a regular customer, stay tuned. 
So just creating a, a toy book of your items that you're going to sell is going to give your customers an idea of what you're going to offer. You don't have to put the prices. You don't have to put, you know, the percentage off. It's just going to be a general slide show of literally everything that you have. So, of course, you know, you can also make it into a slash, like I said, make it a video. You can post it on TikTok, uh, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Um, another thing that I say a lot of people do this thinking that they're going to get more sales. But to be honest, you're not going to just, if you're going to get sales, if you're going to get sales. Do not start your Black Friday sale on Thanksgiving Day. Like people usually are with their families. No one is really shopping on Black Friday Day. I feel like personally this year in particular, you're going to not be getting any, any additional sales than what you're going to really get on Black Friday on Thanksgiving Day. Simply because right now... People are barely getting sales as is on a regular day. So imagine, think to yourself, do you really think that you're going to get some sales on a Thanksgiving holiday? I don't really see the point of starting the Black Friday sale early. Then it kind of like loses the hype. And then like it's, I don't know, I feel like it loses the hype. Like you won't be as hyped and your customer won't be as hyped because you just start the sale early. Now people don't really care no more. Um, another thing that I did probably last year and the year before in 2020 was I created commercials. So... Just like with the the toy book, you know, the toy book can be like a flat image or video of just list of your items you have. Then you can also come back and make a make a commercial. So you can be like, hi, my name is uh, Pretty Girl Bangles, and this year, Black Friday is November 25th. We will be offering tons of things. Let me tell you what we're going to be offering. We're going to be offering bangles. We're going to be offering bracelets, beaded bracelets, charm bracelets, things like that. So I personally feel like when you create videos explaining what you're going to have, explaining what you're going to offer. I feel like those kind of do good. But with that though, make sure you have some words on the screen, at, like a real commercial. Have some words on the screen. Like for example, I know I'm going to have 50% off in, in a dollar shipping or something like that. So I would definitely put 50% off on the screen, $1 shipping, $1 bangles, things like that. So people can kind of hear what you're saying and like read what you're saying as well. So create commercials of you physically talking. Now, of course, if you're not the face of your brand, if you don't show your face on your business, that's a different story. You can still just do commercials just showing the inventory off. But if you're a business like me who is the face of their business and don't mind getting in front of the camera, record some videos, but don't record just one video and post it over and over. Record different videos. So you can do, so for example, if you have four High ticket items. Let, let, let us say you have four high ticket items. You can do one video about the first item, second video about the second item, third and fourth video. So you can do different videos about each item. And then you can also explain like in another separate commercial, like your shipment time, your processing time, things like that. How to order. I know I did that before too. Um, 2020 Black Friday, I was having this issue a lot all year. So I made a video. I made a video, a PSA about ordering. I say, um, make sure that you're using your correct address when you're checking out because orders will be processed immediately as they're coming in. So as you order, I'll be printing orders and I'll be packing. So chances are by the time you figure out your address is wrong, your order is probably already packed and out the door. So I just made a, a shipping PSA video as well to explain the processing time and the expectations from me to my customers on Black Friday. I also explained about no refunds left unless items are broken, etc., etc. So just make some different commercials of you literally explaining your sale, your offer, your deals, your incentives. I also did a video last year. I put um, discount codes, like I called them pink tickets in some orders. So I explained a video about that. So I had a video about the pink ticket. So the first 50 people to order on Black Friday will get a pink ticket. Things like that, guys. Um... Another thing I have is have enough inventory. To be honest, I feel like that you should have too much inventory on hand and not enough. Because you know why? Most of our inventory obviously comes from China. We're, in, we're just not going to argue about that. We're going to just be honest with that. So let's just say you, you have an epic Black Friday, right? So you have an epic Black Friday, right? So let's just say you sell lip kits, lip gloss kits, where you have lip gloss, lip liner in the box. You had an epic Black Friday. You only ordered 100 because you thought that you were going to get 100 orders or 100 people was going to buy it and you only ordered 100, right? You look up and your TikTok went viral the night before Thanksgiving. Now you got an order, you got 500 orders for Black Friday. You have now 400 people having to wait on their orders 
all the way until December because you didn't have enough inventory on hand. That is going to turn off those 400 people so fast. Now, people do understand Black Friday wait times are longer. I'm saying you having to order 400 more pieces from China, wait till it get back over to us, package it, ship it out, things like that. You see how like, that's delaying your process? So, of course, I'm not saying go broke on Black Friday or go bro broke for Black Friday, but I definitely say have enough inventory on hand to fulfill your orders, get your orders out very quickly because you know why? When people get there, most people that shop on Black Friday, I personally, I guess going back on me, when I shop on Black Friday, I don't, I'm not shopping and wrapping it up and putting it under the tree. I'm shopping and using it right away. So most people that's going to shop on Black Friday is going to use your item or wear your item immediately. So meaning they're going to post about it, they're going to post the unboxing, they're going to post their package. And the more people that get their items fast, guess what? The more people is going to want to come and shop with you again. And like again, with your lip kits, let's just say you have 30 people post your lip kits. Now you got... 100 people from their pages on your page wanted that same exact lip kit. If you didn't have enough in stock, now you can't even sell no more, right? But if you have enough in stock, you can sell your inventory after the fact. So people be like, well, I'm nervous to buy, you know, um, a lot of inventory because what if it don't sell? That's okay. We have a whole month of December. Y'all don't know about the day after Christmas sales? So whatever don't sell on Black Friday, you can just still put it back on your site and it can be on your site for the, the month of December and or you can just hold it off until Christmas and do a day after Christmas sale. So your inventory is going to sell, you know, like you're, you're going to make some sales. It might not uh, it might not sell out on Black Friday, but that's OK because you can have another blowout day after Christmas sale with that same inventory. So it's you know, you're going to be using it anyway. So I definitely say order, I put order too much inventory, but just order enough. I say order enough. So if you are a business that usually sells about 100 units of products every month naturally, for Black Friday, I probably will order 150. Again, everybody is different. My business don't run like that, but I just use that as an example. Um, starting November 15th. You need to be saying something about Black Friday every day on every platform. I don't want to hear. I only got five followers on, on Facebook. I only got 50, 100, 500 followers on TikTok. I don't care. I don't care. You better be posting to them 50 people on Facebook. You better be posting to those 20 people on TikTok. You better be posting to those five people on Instagram. And you better be posting to those 100 people on Instagram every day. Okay? I'm serious. Now, I'm not saying post a sale flyer every day. No. What I'm saying is post your regular content, but in the caption, in that caption, you need to mention Black Friday and the date. I always just say the day after Thanksgiving because you can't get it wrong. Thanksgiving is the day. The day after Thanksgiving is Black Friday. Okay? So you, you can't get it wrong. You need to be saying the words Black Friday every day from November 15th to November 25th. Let that marinate. That's how you know I'm serious. I don't want to hear no excuses because I'm doing the same thing. I got... 50 followers. Oh, no, I have 12 followers on TikTok. Not, not TikTok. I have 12 followers on my Twitter. But guess what? I'm going to be posting about Black Friday on that Twitter page. I'm going to be posting about Black Friday on Pinterest. I'm going to be posting about Black Friday on all my platforms. I would even accept, you know, you all posting, at least on your story, at least. The, the reason why I'm saying this is because you want to just get your customers accustomed to seeing your Black Friday offers, your Black Friday sales, so they don't forget. I'm not saying post it a thousand times a day. Once. One time a day is all you need um, between November 15th and Black Friday. That's 10 days. If y'all can't give y'all business 10 dedicated days in a row, you shouldn't be in business no way. I'm just saying, but you need to be on every platform because you just don't like, do, do y'all see these viral sensations that just come up out of nowhere? 
you just never know what platform, what day, when and where you're going to go viral good enough to, to have a great Black Friday. So you'd be putting your business on every platform every day for 10 days straight. If you can't do 10 days, I don't tell you. So for, for me, I have Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Pinterest. Not including YouTube. YouTube's a whole different thing. Everybody don't have YouTube, but if you do have a YouTube, definitely do a YouTube video about your business. But for me, I have five platforms, right? If I post on all platforms once a day for 10 days, that is, what, 50? 50 times. 50 times. Am I correct? Five times 10? Yes, 50 times I'm going to mention the word Black Friday. 50 opportunities to go viral. 50 opportunities for Beyonce to see my post. <laughs> I'm just playing. But y'all get what I'm trying to say. Um, and then the last, the last thing I say, you know, I say the best for last. The last thing I say is start your emails around the week before Black Friday and then your text messages the week of Black Friday. So personally, I don't think you should start sending text messages too early because the point of a text message is for it to be an instant gratification. For me, I won't send no Black Friday text messages. Um, I think I sent two last year. So I sent a Black Friday text message like, let's just say if Black Friday, I mean, if Black Friday was the Friday of I think I sent one text message that Sunday, like, it's the week of Black Friday, get ready to rumble. And then I didn't send no more text messages until actually Black Friday day. Now, emails, I sent um, an email probably the week before. And then an email probably an email the week of. And then the email the day of. So I sent about three emails. So you don't want to send too much of those. But as far as your post, your post is natural content anyway. And in your captions, you're mentioning Black Friday. So I hope these little tips and tricks and me, you know, me being serious with y'all about posting uh, resonated with y'all. Um, again, I'm saying everything with love. I just have a very passion about content, content creation, and social media posting. That is my passion. So I don't want anyone to take this video too hard or, you know, or be offended by it. It's just how I talk, but I'll be real passionate about it because people like to say they're not getting results they're not seeing certain things but they are not putting in the work to get it done like yes it is discouraging to post to 10 people yes it's discouraging to post that only get one like but guess what we all have been there pretty girl bangles didn't start with 10k followers pretty girl bangles didn't start with 100k dollars pretty girl bangles didn't start with anything better or more than the next person pretty girl mangles started with zero 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 we had zero followers zero posts zero likes and I, it just naturally it was a gradual thing past three years has been a journey every single day okay so i understand how you feel when you say oh i make a post and only get five likes or i make a post and don't get no orders I was there too, but you don't let that stop you. We have to chase the bag. The bag is not going to chase us. We're not Kim K, we're not Beyonce, and we're not Kylie, unfortunately. But, well, not unfortunately, because I don't want to be like nobody else. But y'all get what I'm trying to say. We're not those people. We have to go for what we want, okay? And this Black Friday, y'all already saw my video before. I'm going for a thousand orders. When I say a thousand orders, I mean Black Friday day. Small Business Saturday, Sunday, and Cyber Monday. So those four days accumulated, I want to have a total of a 1,000 orders. And I'm going to get that as close to that, pass it, or reach it as I can, okay? So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you made it this far, you might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button because you like the way I talk anyway and you like what I'm saying. So you might as well hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next video. And I will see y'all later. Bye.